Welcome to the Third Wind channel. Today we're going to be doing another Riverdale video. Today it's going to be doing Riverdale ships. Although this is a video I am screwing to make. I am here now and we're doing it. And Riverdale is a show of uh, so many relationships. So it's going to be a bit of a long one. So let's get into it. First up we got Betty and Veronica. Um, This would be interesting I think. Um, I don't hate it. It's okay. I mean, I feel like they could do this at some point, but eh, it's okay. Next, we got Betty and Archie, which I think is endgame, honestly. Ever since I saw the whole kind of season one thing unravel and the childhood kind of girl next door thing, I thought, I think that's quite clever, and I think I would like to see this as endgame. Moving on, we got Tony and Fangs, which is, um, I don't hate it. I don't think it's ever really going to happen, but um, maybe with the baby stuff. Um. It's all right, actually. I don't. I don't mind this. I can. I can put this in ship. Next, we got Betty and Jughead, which I also see. I think I see this as end game as well. Like they are pretty perfect together. The whole investigation thing, and um, you know the past with their parents being together as well. I think that's you know a little weird, but they they deserve each other. Moving on, we got Archie and uh, Cheryl. You know. I don't I think Archie deserves better. So I'm gonna put this as no. No thanks. Uh then we got Hermosa, I think, and Tony. Is that what this is? Um I don't know, I just don't see this ever happening. I'm gonna put this as no. Next we got Tony and uh Cheryl. Although this is a bit of a toxic relationship in my opinion. I I don't hate it. It's alright. Um do I see this as endgame? I don't think so. I don't think that they'll ever get that far. Moving on, we got Josie and Cheryl, which I, I thought was maybe a little less toxic. The whole actually the whole drawing thing and stalker stuff, eh. Nah, maybe not so much. I don't I still don't hate it, but it's not it's not up here. Moving on, we got Veronica and Cheryl. I don't I don't think Cheryl I mean Veronica could put up with Cheryl. This is a no for me. Next, we got uh, Edgar and um, Alice. Uh, how do we? How do you even rank this? Because Edgar is just so horrible. No, I don't. I don't like this at all. No thanks. Uh, this is also Ethel and Jughead. That's a complete no. It's probably my least favorite one so far. If that happened, I would. I would probably quit completely. Uh, next, we got Miss Grundy and Archie, which I thought was. It wasn't cringe. It's more like a no as well. Uh, it, it just made the whole first season very uncomfortable with Archie. And they could have done this a different season. I just, I didn't love it, you know. Very uncomfortable. Moving on, we got FP and Alice, which I think, honestly, is endgame. Uh, they are quite good together. And uh, I like that they bring each other's kind of uh, more interesting sides out. So yeah, and uh, in, in a very similar way, I think uh, Fred and Hermione are um, probably endgame. Although I don't know, I think Fred's too good for Hermione, so I'm gonna put this in ship. But uh, mm, maybe it's in don't hate it. Uh, it's just Hermione is too toxic. Um, Fangs and Midge. I'm just gonna say this is cringe. I don't know. This this kind of thrown in there a little. A bit didn't make much sense, so yeah, cringe. Uh, then we got FP and uh, Gladys. We don't really see ever why they worked well. Do I hate it? I'm gonna throw this a no because it just didn't feel right. Moving on, we got Hermione and FP. This could work, you know. Uh, and we saw them work together a little bit. Actually, I think that this. This is a ship for me. I, I quite enjoyed that one. We, although there's nothing ever romantic between them. I think that that could be an interesting relationship. Uh, then we got Fred and Mary, right? Um, Archie's mom. I don't hate it. I don't love it either. I'd put it around here. It's just super average. You know, Mary's not super interesting for Fred. She's just, you know, I don't know. It's all right. Next we got... Betty and Glenn, I think he's called. Uh, we don't know enough about Glenn other than he's a 
stalker. Uh, uh, but that maybe that's quite normal for Betty. But he's no Jughead and he's no Archie. Uh, I guess I don't hate it. But like at the bottom of I don't hate it. Alice and Hal is very toxic. Although I feel like a, realis a realistic relationship. I think I'd throw this in about here. No. About there. You know, they're all right together. You know, obviously before the unraveling. Um, then we got Josie and Reggie. Yeah, this is a straight no for me. That doesn't make any sense to me. Uh, moving on, we have... Is that Claudius and... Uh, Penelope? Yeah, I don't hate it. I think that they fit each other quite well. Although I like Penelope a lot more than I like Claudius. Claudius is just a little... I don't know, he feels like a stooge. Moving on, we got Mary and the Navy lady. Um, I don't hate it. it. Again, it's very average. We'll put it in the don't hate it category. This is a straight no. They're best friends. Come on. Please, no fanfics. Uh, then we got Josie and Archie. I don't see this working out long term. I just... They're two different uh, people, you know? And they even go into this a little bit in the series. Like, this this will never work, Archie. Uh, so I'll throw this in... Um, I don't hate it. It's just I don't think it's going to work. Uh, then we got Jughead and Tony, which I, I liked. I, I shipped this. Um, nothing more than fangs. Um, we saw that saw a little bit of it, and then it went away. So it was I I, I would lo I love to see more of that. That was that was good. Uh, Fangs and Kevin. Yeah, why not? It's it's all. I mean, up until the last few episodes, it's been good, but now Kevin's trying to ruin it. So I'll throw it in there. I don't quite think it's end game. I think that. Pony and Fangs would be more like Endgame to me. Uh, moving on, we have Joaquin and Kevin, which I I I I I think that they suited each other much more. It was a lot more. They're both, you know, Fangs is more on the uh, conservative science, whereas Kevin and Joaquin they're both quite edgy. So I think that works quite well. Moving on, we have Kevin and Moose, which was yeah. Sure, I'm throwing a lot of Kevins up here. Um, it was just slightly above average. I think that they kind of fit each other quite well, and Kevin seemed really happy with them. Moving on, we got Hermione and uh, Hiram. I think this is endgame. Honestly, I think that they're both twisted, and um, obviously Hermione didn't want it anymore, but I think that they belong together. <laughs> Then we got Archie and Hiram, which is a straight no. In what world? Come on. Uh, Betty and Reggie? We're going to go with Reggie, which also... Betty's too smart for Reggie. Moving on, we have Mayor McCoy and Sheriff Keller, which I thought was... Is this endgame? I, I'd say I, I'd ship it, but it's not quite endgame. I'll put it around there. I just... Sheriff Keller's better. Um, Archie and Valerie. This was much better than Valerie and Josie. I'd put this in like um, about there. I think that that could work quite well. Um, we didn't get enough of Valerie's character though to really gauge that. Moose and Midge. This was really boring. Yeah, bottom of it, but don't hate it. Although I didn't really like Midge so much. Eh, I I didn't hate it. I'll, I'll put it there. Moving on, how many do we got left? Okay, we're 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 nearing the end here. Um, Betty and Brett. Uh nah. Well, I think it could work honestly. But Brett is just. It'd probably be cringe. I'm gonna put it in cringe. Uh, next we got. Ooh, is that another Hermosa Tony? I'm just gonna throw this in no. Uh, then we got, uh, Tony and Veronica. I don't hate it. It's okay. I think it goes around there. It's just, I guess I could ship it, but it's, it's not, 
I don't know. I think it's too hard to imagine, but that might make it make it exciting. All right. Uh, Chad and Veronica is is a no. Mm, I don't. I honestly don't hate it. Chad is horrible, but in a, in a, in a slightly different universe, it could work. Maybe you just throw it a no anyways, though. A top of no. Um, this is Jughead and his ex. Was her name Jessica? The one in New York. This is no. This is no. Uh, this will never work. Uh, Jughead and Tabitha is endgame. I think I'm going to throw this uh, right here. Honestly, either one of these cases, I'm happy. I think Tabitha is great. She's, uh, I think it's terribly symbolic or... Uh, greatly symbolic that Pop Tate's daughter and Chugga Jones would get together. That's that's uh that feels really good to me. Um Archie and Veronica. You know, I'm gonna put this at the top of ship because Archie and Veronica just doesn't click anymore as the same way it used to. It just doesn't like I don't even want it to happen so much anymore, but it's still an honorable mention for endgame and yeah, top of ship is fine. Moving on we got yeah, this this is not obviously not end game, but I I ship this. I I want to see this happen. I know it's our last kind of uh more realistic combo, I think, and uh this would be very interesting to see on uh, you know, the black-haired ones. Uh then we got Miriam and Cheryl. We don't really know enough about this, but I don't hate it. I I'd put it around here somewhere. They look they look good together. Uh then we got Alan Penelope, which I thought was Endgame. Honestly, they 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 were. I I'd put them all the way up here. I thought that they were perfect crazies for each other, and uh, I don't see anything more Endgame than that. You know, I'll, I'll put it here just because it. I don't know. These these feel better to me, but like this is Endgame. Um, Thangs and Sweet Pea. No, thank you. Um, doesn't make sense. Since Sweet Pea is very straight, and uh, Sweet Pea and Josie, however, I I think that this was Endgame. I I I really liked the way that was going. So it's it's a shame that that didn't develop into anything more. And Archie kind of ruined it. Uh, Clifford and Penelope. I didn't hate it, but it didn't make much sense either. Uh, and then lastly, we have. These two crazies. I mean, I hated it, but it was Endgame. Because uh, they're just... They were meant for each other, right? <laughs> um, so, I think I'm happy with this list. I'm going to zoom out so you, so those who skip to the end can see the whole thing. Without needing to, to uh, scroll back and forth. But that's the list. Um, this was interesting. But... I don't know. A lot of a lot of weird picks here. Uh a lot of like spotlight on weird is when they put Hiram and Archie in <laughs> together. No 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 no. That does not work. Um but you know what? The video is over. If you want to check out more Riverdale uh content, I have just yesterday I posted a Riverdale R Riverdale characters your list which I promise you is much more interesting. And uh, if you like this kind of ships video, I have a few others on the channel, like Gossip Girl, for example. And uh, I'd like to thank every one of you for watching the video and subscribe for future Riverdale content, like maybe tomorrow or the day after, I'm gonna post a Riverdale sets and locations video, which I have a running um, series on this channel with. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.